What's up, everybody? It's Kyle a la mode calm. Oh, it's me. Um, so I talked about doing this a little bit in a couple of my past streams that are now videos. I think it's still in the one that they got cut up recently. Like I try to make my the the streams a little bit shorter. Well, the videos of the stream shorter. Anyways, about doing different monologues and character voices because stuff, and you can see here. Here, technically, got it. Oops, sorry, sorry, microphone. Um, anyways, I keep saying um, and I'm, I apologize. It's of course a habit I need to break because of reasons. <clears throat> so I decided that I'm going to be doing Herbert, you know, good old Herbert with a nice little whistle. And I was gonna put him in something that he wouldn't normally be in. This is a website called monologueblogger.com, and this one is uh, known as Dark Place, written by Joseph Arnone. In this monologue, Jeffrey speaks with his friend under visitation hours. He was an actor before he became institutionalized for stabbing his director in the neck with a pair of scissors during rehearsing a new stage play. How mad do you gotta be at somebody to just in the neck with scissors? Um. Anyways said um again bad Kyle <clears throat> Jeffrey does his best to talk with his friend while in a straight jacket so without further ado let's uh let's 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 roll into this uh does not count as an um <clears throat> gotta get rid of that too we're, we're gonna be Jeffrey and this goes on for a little bit but you will be able to see the script what I am reading here, and I will uh, do it with you guys, and hopefully the quality comes out good. If not, I might have to redo stuff without filters and everything. I took off the majority of the filters, so this should sound near near the quality I want it to. It, it's going to lack equalization and stuff like that, so you're getting like flat my voice without any fancy stuff. I might go over a video on how I do that later for, for my voiceover stuff, but... <clears throat> Buckle up, here we go. Does it matter to you I'm going mad? Not sure I can go away and reflect on it. Not sure I can get through my own madness. If I can go to the top of a mountain like a Buddhist monk, perhaps I may have a chance. Life, my DNA, it has fit perfectly together, hasn't it? What is it for? For my heart? Is it fair for a man to sacrifice his sanity for his craft? Is that what God wants? That is so. Then why must I be sacrificed? Why does great beauty come from great pain? We are all mad, crazy, nuts, psycho. It's true. Walk down the street and look into the eyes of a man or woman you walk past. It's hidden. It's hidden. You're someone like me. You can connect with that dark place instantly. You identify with it. <clears throat> I forget who said we are living lives of quiet desperation. Believe we are. The smiles, the charms, it's all bullshit. All smoke screen. We all suffer within, don't we? Sometimes I'll stare into a mirror and wait for the madness to creep from my eyes and leave me once for all. But all it ever does is reach the surface and smile gently at me with a wise gleam. Yeah, I'm crazy. I love that I'm crazy. But I also hate who I am. I wouldn't expect you to understand that. They say genius and madness have a thin line between them. I walk that fence every day. Lately, it's getting harder to stay balanced. <laughs> Look at where I am. <laughs> Chemical imbalance? Sure. Life experience? Sure. Being an artist? Sure. It all adds up to a pair of scissors and better someone's neck, doesn't it? You can ridicule me some more, my friend. You can pity me. You can leave me to inspire and advice. But the truth is, there's nothing you can do or say that haunt me more than your own soul. What do you have to do? Say what you have to say. It means nothing. Nothing, my friend. Nothing. I'll be waiting for you. I'll be waiting. I'm happy to entertain you, my friend. I look forward to your next word. You can speak now. Say something. Can't wait. <laughs> uh, can't wait. I think I'm ready to go back to my room now. I'm starting to feel a little... Yeah, I gotta go back now, please. Gets up and walks to the nursing staff. He begins screaming. Ah! Ah! 
Anyways, yeah. So that was this is my brief little four. I'm gonna do a lot more like this. I'm gonna do one one of these whole things every now and then. I'm gonna do a video. It's not just gonna be Herbert. It's gonna be Gollum as well and other characters that I am able to do because I think uh. I want to get out there more with it. I do freelance work anyway, so I just I might as well get a little wild with it, right? Have some fun, and do what I enjoy doing. Um, gaming, voice acting, and weird. I mean, um, God dang it, Kyle, stop it, stop it, stop it now. No. <clears throat> but anyways, with that said, um, did it again. I did it again. So with that said. We're gonna keep on, we're gonna do this until like a little series, hopefully. And that I'm going to also show some more stuff with Audacity, try to get the best quality I can out of it. You know, a little more light right there. There we go, yeah. So, without further ado, I thank you for uh, sitting here and watching this. A little weird. There will have been some cuts in the video, I'm sure, by this point, where I've had to uh, take a little, like, a little bit of, uh, hiccups here and there when reading it but you know that's that's why we edit things and some some hiccups may be left in there just for for purposes but with that said i thank you for your time keep cool and stay calm my friend